Welcome to part two of the JPEGD workbooks, page 33 on the two-point perspective. This is a quick reminder, just to remind ourselves that we had the main part, which is number one, then the swimming pool, which was number two, and then the last part where the steps is at number three. So we're going to mainly focus on this area, which is part two. We're not going to do it in full. We're just going to do the outlines of it because we want to come back to the pool. We want to leave the detail for last. So we first want to now do the outlines of this pool area, but we're going to deliberately leave out the pool for this section. Hope you enjoy it. With my next step, I want to use this intersection here at the bottom of my answer that I already determined in the previous session. So as you would recall, we have taken this midpoint here on the top view and we've projected towards the standpoint, broke it off at the picture plane and brought it straight down. So where that intersected with this baseline here at the bottom of my building, I now have that inside corner and I also have this corner of the swimming pool area, which touches the picture plane. So if it touches the picture plane, it will touch the ground line here because that's the line that I just projected down. So where that intersection is and where that corner is, I would just draw a solid line because if I were to continue with it all the way, it would go to the left vanishing point. So now I have that first solid lines uh, determined by my construction. So I can draw it in solid and I can draw in that base of the building as well. So once I have those two, now I can move on to the next construction. So now what I want to do is I want to focus my attention to this bottom corner on the right hand side of the base of my swimming pool area. And from that corner, I want to now go and project the base towards the right vanishing point with that green line. And then what I also want to do is I want to know how high does that swimming pool base go up and that I can see here on the side view. So that's why I projected this blue line now all the way to that anchor line. So remember that this part here is now represented by this part over here and we need to use the height as well, which we saw here. So that is what I want to do next. And then from this top intersection, I want to go to the left vanishing point and determine how far to the left I need to project that um, distance. So from this to there, that distance will then be visible over here on that green projection towards the left vanishing point. Now you can see that I've gone ahead and drew in solid the front edge of the swimming pool area from the base to the top edge and enclose it off with a dark solid line. The next step is a bit tricky, so we need to keep our wits about. If we look closely at our top view, we will see that the inside of our wall on the front edge of this building is right here as indicated by the dot here on my uh, top view and we will see also on the other side there's the inside corner of the building so that is an opening going into uh, that building area so uh, just for now i'm going to focus on the bottom inside corner and i'm going to take that projection from there to the sp and straight down now to my answer and you will clearly see that i have now this projection of the line over here which i want to emphasize and i'm going to draw that in solid just now there we go we now have drawn in solid that inside of the wall please take note that we have it in line with the height coming from the top edge of the swimming pool area so that is very important to realize exactly how high that line needs to go um, and be projected down on the far left hand edge. I will now draw in a solid line from that inside bottom left hand corner of the wall to where it meets up with the swimming pool area so that they are level with one another. With the next step, I'm going to project now from the far right inside corner at the top view. I'm going to take that inside of the wall, 
project it towards the SP, break it off at the picture plane and project it all the way down as you can see here. Now you will see that construction line running here right next to the far right hand edge of the building. And uh, we are going to now draw in solid that inside of the wall next. We now draw in solid the inside of the wall on the far right hand side and we bring it down all the way so that it is level with the top edge of the swimming pool area and while we're at it we can now from that intersection that we have just created now draw a light construction line all the way to our left vanishing point so that we can use that for the inside bottom corner that we need to draw in next so now we will draw in solid that bottom corner on the inside of the building Remember the building is hollow, it could be for braai or entertainment, so we will be seeing that inside bottom corner as a solid line. We are now almost done with the second part of this tutorial for this part of the building. So what we want to do is look at the top uh, corner of the swimming pool area. We want to project that down to the SP, break it off the, at the picture plane and bring it in all the way down. The reason why we want to do that is because we want to get this intersection so that we can see where this line is going to go and meet up. So let's do that in our next step. Let's bring that construction and draw it as a solid line. As you can see, we have now drawn in solid that line at the base of our wall on the right hand side. And we have taken it to the top left hand corner of our swimming pool area. And just to make sure you understand which area we're talking about, there's the top left hand corner of our swimming pool area on the top view and this line that we see here on the uh, top view presented is then the one that we've drawn in on our answer and that will conclude our second part of this three-part series so i hope to see you in part three this is the end of part two i will see you in part three